In today's video, I will teach you how to export multiple photos from Lightroom. Let's get started. Exporting multiple photos in Lightroom is straightforward and can be done in a few easy steps. First, switch to the library module by clicking the library in the top right corner. Then press G to switch to the grid view, which allows you to see multiple photos at once. Then hold down the control key or command key on Mac and click on each photo that you want to export. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl A or Command A on Mac to select all photos in the folder or collection. With your photo selected, click on the export button in the lower left corner of the library module. You can also right click on any of these selected photos and choose export, then export from the context menu. In the export location panel, choose where you want to save the exported files. You can choose a specific folder, create subfolders, or export to the same folder as the original photos. If you want to rename the files during export, check the file naming panel and configure your naming convention. Then set the image format like JPEG, TIFF, or PNG and adjust the quality accordingly. Then choose the color space. It is usually sRGB for web use. If you want to resize the images, check the image sizing panel and set the desired dimensions. Enable output sharpening if needed, selecting the appropriate settings for screen or print. And decide what metadata to include, for example, camera info or copyright. And if you want to add a watermark, check the watermark panel and select or create a watermark. And once you've configured all the export settings, Click the export button at the bottom of the dialog box. Lightroom will begin exporting the selected photos, and a progress bar will appear in the top left corner of the screen. Now navigate to the folder you selected in the export settings and verify that all photos have been exported as intended. By following these steps, you can efficiently export multiple photos from Lightroom with customized settings to suit your needs. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.